so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I've got the sound fixed now. I was trying to see if I am live on my Southern Adornments Facebook page. Somebody's watching me, it appears, but oh, is it working? Is it working? Oh, it might be working. We've got two different live streams set up here in order to get this to work. Okay, somebody's saying they can see and hear me from Facebook. Awesome. Yay. Okay, let me get this lowered down to the appropriate height and then we'll be ready to go because I did not anticipate having two phones set up here to do this. And so it's a little crazy. Oh, my goodness. So sorry, guys. I got my notes laid out here. I got my laptop, all the things. I've got two phones here. So hopefully, and I got a charging cable. So if one of them dies, we're, we're all right. And I may have to check two different places for comments, but it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, how are you guys? Are y'all doing all right tonight? Are you staying warm? I know we've been getting lots of snow and whatnot, and it's been kind of crazy. So hopefully, um, hopefully you're staying warm. It's currently snowing here where we are in Kentucky and we've just gotten at least another inch on the ground. And so who knows um, how much more we're going to get. Okay. We're good now, right? Everybody can hear me. There's not a crazy echo or anything going on, right? <sighs> Deep breaths, everyone. It's going to be okay. <laughs> yes, I am snowed in Patty. We weren't able to go to church services tonight. Um <laughs> Pam just said, this never gets old. <laughs> um, I'm sure you mean my, my antics of trying to get everything all situated never gets old. You guys, you guys are always so patient with me and I appreciate it so much. Um, but I'm also live on Deco Arts Facebook page and I'm so sorry that I'm not more professional than I am, but you know what? This is what you get when you come on live with Tamara Bennett. It might be a, a catastrophe of trying to set up the camera. You just never know. But hopefully you walk away with some great painting tips because I teach how to paint door hangers or any kind of wooden cutout, really. Um, I cut this one out with my Glowforge laser cutter machine. We sell these uh, design cut files in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com. Um, we've actually put the link to purchase the, um, the printable uh, template or the laser cut file. If you own a Glowforge or any other laser cutting machine, you can use our cut files to cut these shapes just like this. And so this is actually more like a 12 inch size. So it would be perfect as like a wreath attachment or to go onto a porch sign or just to use in your regular decor. If you're going to use one for a door hanger size, I would recommend more like a 20 inch or so, but I'm doing a smaller one just because it's it takes less time to paint on a Facebook Live, and I have just as it makes it easier for me to guys to talk with you guys while I paint. <laughs> Pam, Pam is correcting herself. She said, "No, I mean watching you live." Well, I, I, I take it either way. I think I think it's kind of funny. But hello, Sandra in Texas. I hope you've got power right now and you're not watching me in the dark. Um, Ruth said, "This is as real as it gets." Welcome to live. That is so true. Um, so I am live every single night this week. Um, and Deco Art says, just like us in Kentucky. Yes. So you guys are probably getting all the snow over there too, right? They're in Stanford, Kentucky. No, Stanton. Stanton, Kentucky, not Stanford. Uh, is that right? <laughs> um, and so they make all the paint that I use, the Deco Art Americana matte acrylics. That's what I love and use all the time. And so last night we went live at 830 and we're live again tonight at 830. And last night we painted it like this. So this is how a stage one beginner painter would paint it, most likely. I mean, they might change a few things, but I'm saying like minimal details, just basic painting skills. You don't have to have a ton of skills in order to paint it like this. Um, and in our membership, the Painters Clubhouse, we teach you um, how to go from never having painted before to at least starting out like this. But hopefully, if you stay in um, long enough, you will graduate to stage two, which is what we are going to be painting this like tonight. And guess what, guys? I intended to give each of these away every night, and I forgot to do that last night. So guess what? Tonight, we're going to give away two of these. Um, so you'll get this one or this one, depending on whose name's drawn. Um, but all you have to do is um, sprinkle the love on the video. Um, and let us know that you've done so in the comment section. And uh, tonight I will randomly um, pick somebody and we'll announce the winner tomorrow night live. Okay, so it sound good? Two winners tomorrow night. You're going to get the one I painted last night and you're going to get, uh, somebody's going to get this one. 
Barbara says, I can't believe I'm seeing you live. Awesome. Welcome. Hey, Phyllis and Tara. How are you? Hi, Anna. Um, let's see. I'm actually watching two comments on two screens, so I have to go back and forth. Melissa says, I love deco art paint. Awesome. Cindy says, deco art Americana is my favorite paint. Mine too. Mine too. Um, do they come with an SVG file? Yes. So these do come with an SVG file that you can use. Um, like in a cricket or uh, but you can't cut wood you can't cut this kind of wood with a cricket but you could use an svg file um in your glow forge machine right okay so um let's see let's get started um so tonight we're going to be painting this like a stage two person wood which would mean that you've got enough experience now that you know the basics of painting and you're ready to start experimenting a little bit with like the colors you use and things like that um i've still got my egg carton. You can see the colors we used last night. So we use the other end of the egg carton tonight. Um, and I want to paint a different color on the pot. So last night we did a gray pot and we're going to, we're going to jazz it up a little bit tonight. We're going to do a different color. I'm thinking, um, like a corally red would be really pretty. Um, this one is, is kind of a, it's a scarlet red. I think if I did, if I, I may have to mix some colors. So let's start with this scarlet. See how orangey red that is? It's real pretty, but I'm kind of going more for like a pinkish, pinkish coral. I don't know. No, that's not the right color to mix. So we're going to find a pink to mix with this one. Here we go. This is Carousel Pink by DecoArt. Thank you guys for sprinkling the love. You'll be entered in the drawing uh, for one of these painted pieces. So I'm going to mix a little bit of that Carousel Pink with the scarlet and see what we get. I wanted kind of a, a reddish coral color. That's what I envisioned. That's the problem with designing these in my Procreate app. I just kind of like make up my own colors in Procreate. And then when I sit down to paint them, I'm like, I don't exactly have that color. <laughs> so sometimes it's a little tricky. And I'm not a color mixologist. I don't really, I'm, I'm not, that's not my gifting, but I do like to play around and see what colors I come up with. And I'm kind of liking this color. It's, it's turning out to be a little bit more of a coral red now. We added a little bit of, what color is that called? Bright magenta to it as well. So just find kind of a, a red and a pink and mix them together and see what you get. Uh, hey, Wanda, I'm glad you got to catch me live too. Hello, hello. My comments on this side have frozen up, so I don't know what to do about that. Let's see. There we go. I fixed them. Um... Yes. Okay. So Deco Art said, well, they're sorry that some of you guys can't find the right colors you need. They have been working like crazy to get more paint out in the world because they know all of us who are quarantined have been dying to paint. Um, you can find their paint online at shop.decoart.com. Um, and so for a long while, they had only been producing the colors that were um, most like commonly used. And so um, I don't know if they branched out of that yet, but uh, hopefully you can find the colors you need on their website. Okay, this is turning out pretty. It's a little more red looking than I imagined on the on the wood, but I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be pretty. So we're just going to paint our pot this color, and then we're going to add some pattern because last night when we painted this, we didn't add any pattern whatsoever. And once you join Painters Clubhouse, by the way, the membership is open this week. We only open two times a year. So this is your opportunity to join if you are if you enjoy this and you want to learn more about door hanger painting. Um, we take you inside the membership and teach you two door hangers every single um, every single month, and we give you the printable or the laser um, files so that you can cut them yourself um, with a jigsaw or a scroll saw or even a laser cutting machine, and we teach you how to paint them. And so. We also teach like lots of techniques and different kinds of um, ways that you can apply different painting techniques to door hangers. Um, let's see. Uh, Pamela says deco art is great uh, paint and they have tutorials and projects to help you learn. Thank you for sharing that. Janice says, how do you sprinkle? It's the S-H-A-R-E -S button. Some of you guys may have to like go out of the video for it to appear because once you go into the like watching it and it gets bigger on your screen, that button will disappear. Um, 
Lori says, deco art, it's understandable under the current circumstances, but there will be plenty of happy painters when the paint is readily available again. Thank you for giving them grace for sure. Uh, thank you for sprinkling the love, Sheila. Hello, hello. Um, okay, I think I'm caught up on comments. Do you ever add water to your paint? Sometimes, I'm gonna pull my hair up. These ring lights are making me hot tonight. Um, sometimes I do. It's usually if I'm doing lettering or um, some sort of detail work that, um, that I'm wanting the paint to go farther, sometimes I will. Painter's tip, keep a scrunchie handy if you get hot. <laughs> hey, Julie. Hi, Mary. I'm glad you caught me live. She said, I would love to win. What does sprinkle mean? It means hit the S-H-A-R-B button. Okay. Ashton said she joined Painter's Clubhouse last night. Awesome. Uh, Rosie, I use a Glowforge laser cutter machine. And so if you're interested in that, I can give you my affiliate link and you can get $500 off the machine. I've done lives here on my page before demonstrating how they are. Um, Margaret said, anyone in Virginia willing to teach an old fart how to use a jigsaw? <laughs> Margaret, I love your attitude. That is so funny. So yeah, inside the Painters Clubhouse, we actually teach you how to use a jigsaw. Um, in the membership, we have videos walking you through how to do it. So you're not going to be alone. You're not going to have to figure it out on your own. Um, so just come on in. We'll, we'll walk you right through it. Old fart or not, we can teach you. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Marge, for sharing with all your friends and family up there. Your friends, your friends. I, I sound real Kentucky right now, don't I? Um, so the Painters Clubhouse is my membership where I teach you how to paint door hangers every single month. And we have over a thousand members in that group. Most of them are women, but men are allowed as well. I heard somebody asking that last night. And um, it's just a blast. Like every single month we teach two, two more door hangers. And the women in that group have grown tremendously, not only in their skills, but in their self-confidence. Um, some of them have started selling their door hangers. I'm mixing a little bit of white in the, with this red now. We're creating a lighter shade. Um, one of our members, Carrie Peterson, is from uh, North Carolina. She actually found me on YouTube. So if you're watching from YouTube, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. If you ever have trouble finding me on Facebook, by the way, we have been live streaming to YouTube also. So you can always find me over there as well. Um, but anyway, she came across me on YouTube. She got our free birthday cake door hanger template that we have um, in our app. We have an app in the app store called the Southern Adornment Shop. She got her birthday cake door hanger at, um, tutorial there. And she said, once she painted that, she realized, hey, like, I'm actually pretty good at this. And she enjoyed it. And so um, it wasn't long after that that she said she lost her job and she was starting to struggle a little bit. And she said, this has been the perfect way to, like, boost her esteem back up. And it's helped her um, su supply extra income for her family. And so I don't know, like, how many of you guys watching right now lost, maybe lost a job or had your hours cut back from COVID? How many of you guys watching? I would love to know. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable saying, that's okay. You don't have to. Uh, somebody asked, where did I get my shirt? It was one of the framed uh, monogram box or framed t-shirt club shirts of the month. I think it was back in January. So right now I'm just painting stripes, y'all. And I'm not, um, I, I'm just kind of eyeballing these. I'm not measuring or anything. And we, see, we just took this color. We added a little bit of white to it. I'm using a flat tip brush and we're just adding stripes. Uh, somebody else said, somebody said, I did. Who else? Yay. Ashton joined Painters Clubhouse. Welcome. Um, okay. Glenna says she's working overtime from home. Anita lost her job due to COVID. It's, it's so hard right now. So many people have lost hours. They've lost their jobs. And you know what? Somebody commented on one of my, my posts about Painters Clubhouse. And they said, you know what? I just can't afford it. And I'm like, I understand. Like, it, I would not want you to join if it was going to put your family in financial distress, for sure. I would not want you to, but you have to know yourself, right? And if you are the kind of person who can put your mind to something, and once you set out to do something, you can, you know, like I'm that kind of person. I know if I put my mind to something, I got this. And so if you're that kind of person, and you put your mind to this, you can actually start making a whole second stream of income 
through door hanger painting, whether it be through doing paint parties or through just selling door hangers that you paint. Um, Libby said I had to quit due to illness. Anita joined Painters Clubhouse. Welcome, Anita. For those of you who are Painters Clubhouse members who are watching right now, um, I want to know if, how, how much has painting and selling door hangers helped you during COVID? Has it helped you make money? Um, because I know, I know $47 a month is not, um, a small amount to people like that's an investment, but it's an investment in yourself. You pay for your kids to take soccer. You pay for your, your kids to take art lessons or to do all these other extracurricular things. But what are you doing for yourself? Um, it's an investment in yourself, but it's an investment that's going to pay you back. And so if you start to sell your door hangers or you start to teach paint parties or something like that, it's more than going to pay you back. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I don't want to say her name wrong. Le Lika, am I saying your name right? Thank you. She said it looks beautiful. Debbie said, I've lost my job. I have another one now, but painting has given me an extra income. I'm glad to hear that, Debbie. There's a lot of our members who have um, started to make an extra income <clears throat> while painting. Sharon said, I've made an extra $60 to $90 a month and barely have time to paint. That's just selling what I'm practicing on. That is awesome. Um, let's see. Mary said, is that your only way to learn or do you have to join Painters Clubhouse? Money is tight due to medical reasons. You can learn just by watching me on Facebook here, but you're going to make better progress if you join. The reason I say that is because um, there's a level of accountability when you join a group. It kind of forces you to up your game a little bit to really focus on the skills that you're trying to learn. And it forces you to kind of, uh, I say forces is a bad word because that sounds like something making you do something you don't want to do. But we all know that sometimes we don't make time for things that are good for us. We put it off and we tell ourselves, no, I don't want to get out all those paints. I don't want to sit down and paint because, um, you know, it's going to make a mess and then I'd have to clean the mess up. And I just, I can't devote a couple of hours in my afternoon to doing this right now. I just can't. And we tell ourselves that. But by being in a group like this, it helps you to put those thoughts aside and think, okay, I'm in this group. I want to be able to share my pictures on the Facebook page. And I want to be able to get feedback from the other ladies. And I want to be able to learn because I'm paying for this every month. And so if I don't get the stuff out, then what, then what's the point of being in the group? And so by joining, you're actually making yourself be accountable to learning the skill that you've set out to learn. And we give you a clear cut path on what you need to do in order to advance your skills and get better at this. And you'll grow more confident with every single door hanger you paint. And the more confident you become, that benefits you because then you become confident in your, um, your ability to paint just about anything. Believe it or not, that will happen. Um, and then you'll end up being able to sell them, you'll, you'll just all around become more confident in yourself. It's, it's going to make you a happier person. If you're a mom, it's going to make you a better mom and wife. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but if you don't believe me, listen to the interview I did yesterday with Ambie Bundy on my Facebook page. Um, I uploaded the video because the Facebook live didn't, um, didn't go right yesterday. So I uploaded it, but just listen to her, listen to her talk about how it's changed her life to start painting and um, how it's how her husband even noticed that she's a happier person now that she paints every week. Um, Jackie says painters club has has helped me from feeling so isolated. Yes. A lot of people have said that too. It's helped them find a community. Renee said, I've actually been busier during the shutdown more than any other time. It's my source of income. Sheila said it gave me something to do in the house as I have immuno as I am immunosuppressive. It's also given me extra money for Christmas and helped my self-esteem. Um, oh, Roxana, you are too sweet. She said, Tamara, this has changed my life. She said, I've been able to make my extra money and my daughter has been able to quit her job and help me run my business. We will forever be so grateful for you. She said, I joined several years ago. She was one of our painters clubhouse OGs. She was from the beginning in, in 2018. 
Um, she said, I joined several years ago and I never knew that I could paint and sell my product. It's been life changing. Thank you so much for saying that. Margaret said, I joined yesterday and I'm hoping painting will help me decrease my depression. I'm old and live alone except for my service dog. And I don't get out but once a month. So this will occupy my old fart mind. Margaret, you sound like you're going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to see you in the clubhouse. Um, let's see. Let me go to the other comment section. I'm watching two comment sections. So this is like double duty here. Um, Cindy said, we've been able to make ends meet the last couple of months with my door hangers. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Cindy says, this has been a life changer. I have found myself again. It was the best decision I have made to join Painters Clubhouse. Debbie says it's helped her make money and keep her mind busy during this time of COVID. Um, Charlotte said, I'm not selling, but having this to get my mental attitude on track has been priceless. Charlotte, you may not be selling yet, but I guarantee you in the future, you most likely will be. Erica said, selling door hangers has helped my mental health and it definitely adds money to my pocketbook. Christine said, I've been a member since 2000, or September 2020. I've been focusing on getting some inventory and I sold a few things that haven't really tried that hard yet. So see, she's selling things and she's not even trying that hard. Um, thank you for saying that, Cindy. Cindy Wilson said, we encourage each other and celebrate each other's accomplishments. Our, my PC sisters are amazing. Yes, they are. Um, so one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, I've got some red on my brush. Apparently I keep streaking it into the green. Um, we have some bonuses. So if you are thinking about signing up and you're kind of on the fence, you need to sign up by to midnight tonight in order to get all three of these bonuses that we're offering, because every day, one of the bonuses will go away. By the way, I'm going to paint these interior parts a, a slightly darker green. Let me show you real quick what the bonuses are. So bonus, uh, the first bonus, one of the bonuses already went away yesterday. So the first bonus that I have for you guys is um, a tutorial showing how to, to take your door hanger and turn it into yard art. That's taught by Mary Amick. Uh, the next one is tips from creatives on how to paint faster. So if you're one of these people who are like, I'm working a full-time job, I don't have time to sit down and paint for very long. Or if I do sit down and paint, it takes me forever. These tips will help you so, so much. Um, and then the last one, which is to me the most important one, is how to sell your door hanger even if you don't have a business yet. And that's taught by Ashley Rates. Um, and she is an expert, number one seller, like on Etsy and Amazon Handmade and all this stuff. She's a genius. So um, if you have been struggling with making some extra money and maybe you have already been making door hangers and you're just not sure how to sell them yet. Those bonuses are going to be awesome. And by the way, if you're a current painters clubhouse member, you have access to all of these bonuses. Ever all of our clubhouse members get the bonuses as well. Um, Vicki Kate says I retired almost three years ago. I found your site and painted the fall challenge. I was hooked. I painted several door hangers for Christmas and the butterfly for a spring door hanger. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying it so much. I think it's just so good for all of us. Um, oh, goodness. I wish I could go through and read all of these comments right now, but I probably need to do some painting. I added just a little bit of this light avocado to the paint that I was using. And I, I'm going to just blend that and then add it as a darker shade right here in between. So we're painting this as if we were a stage two person in Painter's Clubhouse because we have four stages in the clubhouse. The fourth one is the one where by then you should be probably starting to sell your door hangers. Even if you, if you haven't already, then you're probably starting a business. Perhaps you're starting to do paint parties and stuff that, like that by stage four. But in stage two, you're still just playing around. You're, um, you've maybe painted about 10 or 12 door hangers at most. Um, if you haven't yet, you're on your way there. And you're starting to figure out like, you know, what colors you need to be using. You're kind of figuring out what you're, um, you're starting to slowly figure out what your style is. So for like me, my style is bright and colorful always. It's very rare that I actually paint something that doesn't have much color in it. And so you'll start figuring that out the more you paint. And it's going to make it easier for you to then pick colors and things because you'll know what you like. Um, let's see. Donna says, I just retired. Can't wait to paint more. Awesome. We have several members in our community who have retired and started painting and they've actually seen this be an, an, ex, an, ex, an excellent uh, 
extra source of revenue as well. Okay, I'm going to be using Bahama Blue from Deco Art next. And I'm going to paint two of my flowers this color. And then we're going to do a third flower a different color. Look how bright and cute this is. And it looks so good with this corally red we put down at the bottom. Do you guys have any questions about Painters Clubhouse? Feel free to ask them in the comments. We have several Painters Clubhouse members watching in the comments right now that can answer those questions for you. And of course, I will also be checking the comments and answering your questions as I go. Um, I'm still using a flat tip brush. It's about a half inch in size. And we're just laying this color down. We're not even worried. Like we can paint right over these little etched lines. It's totally okay. I'm planning on painting the middles of these flowers a really dark uh, black color. So it's going to cover just fine if I get outside the lines. And right now I'm just kind of um, going along the edges of these petals to make sure that I cover up where I accidentally got out of the lines with the green. I'm a bit of a messy painter, but you know what? It's okay. Paint covers up and fixes all kinds of problems. Um, let's see. Marie says, I'm an introvert. I'm shy and a homebody. I've made some really good friends in the clubhouse and have started going live on my page and gained so much confidence. It's the best thing I've ever done for myself. I love this. You're so awesome. Uh, let's see. You love this color, Anita? I do too. It's called Bahama Blue. It's so like tropical and happy. So, so pretty. It's going to take a couple coats though. Hey, Kristen B. Painters Clubhouse OG. How are you, sis? Um, Michaela says, I'm not a PC sister, but I can answer several questions. I bet you can. You're on a lot of my lives. You could probably be my secretary at this point. <laughs> um, Pam cuts hers out with a bandsaw. That's interesting. I've never used a bandsaw. Is that similar? It's kind of like a, a scroll saw though, right? I don't know. I think it is. Um, when do you use white as a base before doing colors? Um, Ken Letta, what a cool name. Um, I usually use white if I'm going to be using a lot of, um, reds, yellow, no, not reds. Um, if I'm going to be using a lot of yellows or oranges, because the yellows and oranges are kind of translucent. And so painting white behind them really helps a lot. Um, but other than that, I almost never paint white behind something mainly if it's just yellow or orange. This color right here has, must have like a lot of white, like a white base in it before they even added the blue because it covers so lovely. Okay, we're gonna go back and give this one a second coat real quick. What does my shirt say? It says, we rise by lifting others which is totally um, one of our mottos kind of in the Painters Clubhouse, only technically we call it community over competition. We believe in supporting and lifting one another up, even though a lot of us are in business and have the same type of customers, sell the same kind of thing. We all cheer one another on. We love to see each other succeed. We, ne we never have any drama or cattiness in the group. We never have anybody, um, you know, accusing somebody of copying or stealing something or, anything like that. So um, if that sounds like a group you would like to be a part of, you would fit right in. What is the name of your page? It is Southern Adornments Decor. Southern Adornments Decor. Um, Ashley says, my, uh, my husband bought me a scroll saw yesterday and I'm struggling. I'm used to being behind the blade, not in front of it. Yeah, I bet it's going to be a big um, adjustment to get used to a scroll saw. By the way, if you're just now logging on, we're giving away the one that I painted last night and the one I'm painting tonight. So be sure and sprinkle the love and comment and let us know that you've done so. Alma Dyer says, PC sister, and I love every minute of it. Best thing I've done for me. If Have you guys noticed a theme here a lot of people are saying it's the best thing they've ever done for themselves. So be sure and do something for yourself. Sheila says, um, this is the Daisy Pot. Yes. So if you're looking at shopdoorhangers.com and trying to find this one, it's called the Daisy Pot. 
I'm going to use this magenta that I used last night because I love it. Um, and we're going to paint here. We'll just put it in the same hole that I had that one last night. I got a couple of crusty bits of paint in there, but we'll pull that out. And we'll do this last flower that color. Steph Stephanie said, I love how I can post anything I'm painting and everyone will help with suggestions of making it better. It's the best. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, Natalie, girlfriend, last night you were asking if you had to have a Facebook page. And today you went and created a Facebook page just so you can take advantage of the Facebook group part when you join. I'm so happy. It's going to be awesome. By the way, guys, um, <laughs> I feel kind of dumb because I've been telling you guys that we have over two years worth of door hanger tutorials, tip videos, technique videos, hand lettering videos, all the things in there that you need to, to for door hanger painting and beyond. Well, today I was kind of looking through some of my old videos and all of a sudden I was thinking I did the math. It's not more than two, two years worth of door hanger painting tutorials. It's more than three years worth of door hanger painting tutorials. I think my brain is still stuck in 2020, but next month, March 2021, will mark three full years in the Painters Clubhouse. Three full years. Our, our birthday is actually like April the 1st, if you want to like be technical about it. But at the end of next month, it will mark three full years. So if you think about it, and we've done two door hanger tutorials at minimum every single month, plus we've given you at least one, two, maybe even three some months, uh, tip videos, technique videos, things like that. That's a lot of videos. We have probably, I bet we have two or 300 videos in there already that you guys get instant access to as soon as you sign up. Not to mention every single tutorial we teach comes with a template. So the value of all the templates in the group is worth at least two or three months worth of the membership alone. And so, I mean, <laughs> it's just crazy. Three months, I mean, three months, three years. And I was sitting here saying two years this whole time. I've been saying two years for the last two days. Um, let's see, Cindy said, when I joined, my husband said, we can't really afford it right now. She said, but I've sold one door hanger a month to cover it. So it's been like a free membership. That's what I tell you guys. So thank you for saying that, Cindy, because definitely um, we do teach two door hanger. Yes. So Vicki said, I'm not taking full advantage of my clubhouse membership. Is there a set time of month for painting two door hangers or and for the Zoom? So the Zooms do have, we have a Zoom paint party every single month. Those do have a set time. Um, but the tutorials that we teach, most of them are now pre-recorded. And so you get access to those on the first Monday of the month. If they're pre-recorded, if they're done live, that's on a set time and date, usually in the evenings, but they're all, they're also going to be available to watch anytime on replay later in the membership. We put them in the membership for you guys to watch anytime. Um, so yeah, it, you don't have to watch them live. And I hate to hear you say that you feel like you aren't taking full advantage. I mean, I mean, technically you aren't, but as long as you're painting at least one thing a month, you're learning one thing a month, you're going to get your money's worth because we give you way more than $47 value every single month. And every single Painters Clubhouse member that's watching right now can attest to that as well. Um, we give you way more than $47 worth uh, of uh, information. Like we, we over deliver in what we teach. And so if you feel like you're not getting your money's worth, maybe you're not setting aside that time for yourself like you need to be. Um, the flowers are matching my shirt. Yes, they are. What colors have I used so far? Let's break it down. So Kelsey, for this one, I used a scarlet red mixed with a pink to make it more of a corally red. Then I mixed white with that color to create the stripes. This is Hauser light green. This is Hauser light green mixed with a little bit of light avocado to make a slightly darker green. Bahama blue and magenta. 
that's all we've used so far. Let me hold it up right here too. So you guys can see the bright colors. Cause I feel like the overhead light sometimes makes that purple look real or that magenta look really, really deep. And it's not really that deep. Uh, Alma says my door hangers sales have paid for my membership and also has paid for all my supplies. And it's been a year and a half. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> Sharon says I'm, you'll never run out of things to paint for sure. Diane says, I am in the club. I'm a clubhouse member and I've attended two of the live events that you do in Nashville. I so enjoy the instructions and the upbeat atmosphere. Yes, I'm so sad that we can't do a live event this year, but we will be doing one next year, hopefully in Texas. So it's going to be super exciting. Erica says, there are so many templates and videos in the clubhouse. Yes, ma'am, there are. Somebody was actually commenting on one of my posts the other day that was like, oh my goodness, I just joined and I can't believe how much stuff is in there. And somebody last night was actually asking if I could do a behind the scenes look at the, what's inside the Painter's Clubhouse. Would you guys like that if I gave you a virtual tour of what's inside the membership? If so... I can do that at the end of this when we're completely done. I can share my screen and show you guys what it looks like behind the login inside the Painters Clubhouse. So you can see how like the volume, sheer volume of how many videos and templates and all of that stuff you get. Oh, and I didn't even mention you get 20% off any template or blank in our shop and then you can use it as many times as you want. So you would never have to pay full price again for templates or um, blanks. Okay. Vicki says, yes. Melissa says, uh, yeah, Melissa wants me to have the event in Texas. <laughs> um, okay. Somebody else said yes to the behind the scenes. Pam is saying yes. So does Karen. Awesome. Michaela would love it if I came to Texas. Awesome. What size is the wood you're painting now? Allie, this one is about 12, uh, 12 inches or so. All right. Let me dry this with a hairdryer real quick. Hang on, my hair dryer got put up in the wrong spot. I can't hardly reach it. Here we go. Let me dry this. Stacy says, do you ever do events in Kentucky? Um, so I try to do them near a, there's my charging cord. <laughs> I hope my battery's not about to go dead. Um, I try to do them. Let's, let's switch which one it's plugged into just to be safe. Cause that one's been charging. I try to do them near a major airport. So that's why I do them. I've done the last two in Nashville, Tennessee, um, because I, we had people from 26 different States come in. And so they have to be able to like fly or drive in. And so it's kind of difficult to do them in Kentucky unless I went all the way to like Louisville. And actually Nashville's closer to me than Louisville is. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to get this cord up out of my way. You love the black in the middle? Well, Kelsey, it's about to get even more dramatic. Just wait. What are the colors of last night's daisies? Um, Laguna. Peony, pink, and magenta was what I used. Marie says, I'm kicking myself for missing, missing out on the one in Nashville last year. Oh, Pamela, I love New Orleans. I would love to do New Orleans. That would be fun. What's the biggest cutout you can do with a Glowforge? You can do up to 19 inches wide. And if you get the Pro, Glowforge Pro, you can do as long as you want. But 19 inches is the max width. Um... Oh, Michaela, the actual website is shopdoorhangers.com. Shopdoorhangers.com if you're wanting to buy a blank wood cutout or if you're wanting to get a, do I have white yet? Or if you're wanting to get um, the template. I actually have the template linked up in the video description, I believe. All right, so we're going to be using this itty bitty little sponge pouncer. And I'm going to be showing you how to do little dots in the middle of these flowers to make them super cute and whimsical. Okay, so just dip your sponge pouncer in some paint. We have these also in the shop if you need some. 
Michaela, you're doing great. You're a great secretary on the live. Um, and I'm going to use a little sticky note to kind of do these dots, some of them half on and half off. So just push down, do a gentle twist, lift up. Let's do another one. And another one. We'll do this one kind of half on, half off. Whoops, hang on. I got to make sure and wipe off the excess or it gets all over things. We'll do one right here. Just make sure to get it to cover good. It may look a little bumpy or splotchy because it's, you know, a sponge, but it's going to be cute. So it don't matter. Okay, let's do this one. We're just going to do these all over these cute little flowers. Okay, get some more white paint, scrape the excess. Let's do it again. Put one here, one here, one here. We'll do that one right there. It's nearly off, but it's not quite. Maybe one down here that's kind of barely on there. <laughs> that one was, that one's a little wonky, but it's okay. I need some more white paint. You got to concentrate doing polka dots. It's getting serious. Okay, and then we'll do one right here. Do another one right here. Once we get all the other details on here, the little things like the fact that those look a little wonky is not going to matter. So don't let it bother you. You love the pouncers, Brenda? I do too. Um, let's see. Yes. So if you want to sign up for paintersclubhouse.com, click on the link up in the video description. Um, okay. Great question. Natalie is asking, will there be a deco art booth set up at the live in Texas? You'll have to ask deco art if deco art's watching. Maybe, maybe they'll commit to that. <laughs> they're, they're probably going to be like, it depends on COVID and how much paint we've been able to make in the factory by then. <laughs> and, and like, uh, Mark, like Margaret said earlier, it's going to depend if the snow has all thawed out by then. Uh, Stacy loves the dots. Awesome. Okay. So this is where it gets fun. Okay. You ready? It's going to get fun. We're going to start adding lots of little details. So last night, this is how we painted it. Pretty simple, right? We kept the details simple with our paint pen outlines and we just did the basics, but now we're going to zhuzh this up a little bit more. So we've, we've added stripes, we've added dots, and now we're going to start adding some more details. Erin, the live's not happening this year. It'll be next year, 2022. 2022. Uh, sorry, I got y'all all riled up about the live event. Thanks, Marie. You started that. <laughs> and now everybody thinks we're having one this year. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Okay, I was trying to find a good round tip brush. So we need a round tip brush for this. Get the bristles wet, kind of smooth them out. Or, you know, sometimes I put them in my mouth and smooth them out. But that's probably not the right way to do this. This one needs to be dipped in hot water. It's got some crazy frayed bristles, so I'm not going to use that one. Let's get one that's a little more calm. This one's better. Okay, so now what we're going to do, where's my yellow paint? Did my kids pack it off? No, they brought it back. My kids were borrowing my paints today. It feels like you're never going to thaw out, Alma. Uh, this is a, the my favorite yellow. I used it last night. It's the Patio Paint Outdoor Yellow. It's Sunshine Yellow. Um, so that's what we're going to be using to do some details. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I was just checking my comments again. Does it say it'll be in Texas? I'm hoping. The plan was to have it near Dallas, Texas. That was the plan. So we're, we're not going to make a 100% promise there. Hey, Erica, welcome. Okay, let's get our patio paint, our yellow, and we're going to add some fun little details to our flowers. So, oh, actually, this works a little better, too, if you want. Oh, that's not what I want to do. And we want to water our paint down a little bit. I started to dip that other brush, and it had some real, a lot of black on it. So, I'm just going to put a couple drops of water in this yellow paint. And now we're just going to make some cute little floopy floops. That's the technical term for them. Floopy floops around the edges of our flowers. Whoop. Whoop. Oh. Looky there, it went off the edge. We don't care. Don't don't worry about that. I don't want you guys to be sitting here going like this, trying to make it perfect. Don't do that. Go whoop, and just try to do it as fast and flippant as you can, okay? That way it looks like it's whimsical and you didn't try a whole, you know, really super hard to get it right. 
Just do it real quick. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Helps if you make the noise because it makes it more like whimsical. <laughs> okay, now we're going to rinse our brush. Get a different color. Um, okay, Margaret asked if there's a tutorial on how to seal the door hangers. Um, we actually do have a tutorial on that somewhere around here. We did a tutorial on that in the Magnolia door hanger challenge. So I don't know if you participated in that or not, but there is a video at the end of that for it. And that is in the painters clubhouse as well. Um, you love the post-it tip. I keep post-it notes, baby wax, and a scrunchie on hands in my craft desk all the time. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's, you love the yellow and the dark pink flower? Yes, it pops, doesn't it? So we're not done. We're going to add even more zhuzhing, okay? Let's do, let's do this color that we did the stripes in. We've got some of that left. So this is where we're just kind of like using up extra paint and adding some whimsy to our flowers. This is, remember, don't, don't measure it and don't sit here and like try to get it perfect. And do not sit here and try to get it like perfectly um, on or not on top of the yellow. Sometimes it's going right on top of the yellow and sometimes it ain't. I don't want any perfectionists doing this. Try to, try to be whimsical. Pretend like you don't care for just a minute, okay? And if it doesn't go all the way around like that one, just leave it. Leave it. It's going to be cute. Let me show you up close. Look how fun that is. So fun. This is looking fabulous, Kathy says. <laughs> uh, you love the yellow and the dark pink flowers? I already read that comment, didn't I? <laughs> Deco Art just commented and said, adding the whoop to our list of technical painting turns. Thanks for the technique. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Natalie says, I love your fun and loose style. You know what? If you can't have fun while you're painting, why are you doing it? Like it, this is supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to be enjoyable. And so if you're not having fun while you're doing it, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like it needs one more color. So I'm going to take the Bahama blue color and add a little bit of that, maybe in smaller doses to my magenta flower. I may, I may not whoop it all the way around. I may just whoop it on one side of the flower. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the magenta on the teal flowers. <clears throat> so pick up a little bit of that magenta, whoop, whoop. Just kinda put a little bit of it on each petal. There we go. Look how cute. Diana says, I need to start saving now if Deco Art's going to be at the event in Texas. I love their paint. They didn't say they were. They've been very quiet. <laughs> They're making no promises. It's kind of like when my kids ask, can we go get ice cream when we're driving in town? And I'm like, I'm not making any promises. But if I surprise you and I show up at the ice cream place, you're going to be thrilled. But I'm not going to promise. All right, so let's um, add some zhuzhing to our um, our leaves and stuff, okay? I've got this yellow sitting here, so I might as well use some of it up. But I'm going to mix maybe a little bit of that green that we had with it and create like a real bright yellowy green. It's kind of like a lime green. So this is the Hauser, Hauser light green mixed with sunshine yellow. And I'm just going to do a little squiggle squiggle. That's another technical term deco art can add to their technique list. Squiggle, squiggle. It's where you take your brush and you act like you're just like, eh, like you're shaking. <laughs> and you make a little squiggle. So if you've got shaky hands, because I know a lot of you guys tell me you've got shaky hands, this technique is perfect for you. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. And then we're going to take just a teensy bit of black. I mean, when I say teensy, I mean just the very tip of my brush and a little bit of water because my brush or my paint here has dry, just starting to dry up. But I'm gonna make a little bit of a darker shade of green, just enough so that I can add a little squiggle squiggle in that green. I'm having to add more than just a teensy bit because the paint was so dry. But I added a little bit of water, a little bit of black, just to create a little bit more of that dark green. And I'm gonna add little squiggles 
in the background of that and that's going to look like the greenery has something going on back there okay let me hold it up this way so y'all can see what we got going on so far look how cute super cute and whimsical okay so we're painting this as if we were a level two person so now that we've got all of our whimsical stuff done let's dry this and we'll use our paint pens now Okay, should be good and dry now. We have to get it real good and dry before we can use um, before we can use our paint pens. Um, do you paint the backs? No, I never paint the backs of mine, but you totally can. Some people paint the backs if um, if it's going to be hanging on a glass door, and they're worried about like the back looking like boring plain wood, and they want like the back to be pretty. But I never have, never have. All right, what were we going to do? We were going to get the paint the paint pens out. All right, so I'm just going to use, let me make sure this is the right one. I forgot to throw that one away last night. Uh, this is the 5M size Posca pen. Let me make sure I'm in camera here. I believe I am. Yes. Okay, good. And we're just going to add, so last night we just did a basic outline, right? So now tonight let's maybe add like a cute little dot, dot line, and then a dot, another line. And it just adds a little bit of interest or whatever. And then for our outlines around the edge, maybe instead of perfectly following the, um, the etched lines, maybe let's get a little bit more free with it and whimsical and just add a quick line. Because before, last night, we were trying to follow the lines just perfectly. So see how right here, we were trying to perfectly trace those lines. You see the difference? You see the difference there? This one looks a little bit more carefree. And that's what we're going for. Carefree. And I'm getting paint all over my paint pen. Paint on my paint pen. That doesn't sound like a problem, does it? All right. I'm also going to take this and just kind of clean up the edges of my circle because I kind of got a little wild. So I'm just going to trace around the edge of this circle, even though we've been trying to go with the free look. I just think it'll make it look a little bit cleaner having a black outline. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to switch to the skinniest black paint pen. Don't forget at the end, um, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the Painters Clubhouse website online um, so that you can see what all is in the membership. Somebody asked, what is this? This is a door hanger painting. So if you've never seen a door hanger before, this would hang on your front door, would make really cute decor. Um, let's see. Somebody was talking about toll painting. I had to ask what toll painting was when somebody first told me that. Um, I had never heard of it. Okay, so this is the skinnier one. It's a 3M size. And I'm just going to take it and just kind of doodle on some lines around the edge. So see how I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of flipping it again. I'm, like we said earlier, we're just, we're not trying to stay perfectly in line. We're just going around as if we were just quickly sketching this. Whoop, I got off the edge. Okay. See how it's not perfect, but it's kind of, kind of fun. And then we could do like a little swiggle in the middles if we want to add a little bit of detail inside of our leaves. There we go. All right, and then now we can add some little highlights if we want to with the white. So you can get the white pen that's what's a size five M, and you could add maybe a little highlight here, a little highlight here on the leaves, just a few. You could squiggle, squiggle those as well. Maybe do a little bit inside your flower. 
This is a busy, busy design. But you know what? All the busyness really makes you not care so much about how perfect your little little lines around your colorful lines around your flowers were. So there we have it. Um, yes, I did see some spam comments. I did block one of them that came up. So no worries. <laughs> Oh, okay. You were talking about the troll that popped up. Thanks for being on the on the alert for us, Sheila. I appreciate that. Do you always outline in black? Lori, I kind of do, but that's my style. So like we were talking about earlier, when you join Painters Clubhouse, the longer you get. So like at this point, this is like how stage two might paint it. So stage one might paint it like this. See how it's, I'm not going to say it's boring, but it definitely doesn't have as much zhuzh as this one does. So this person is just getting used to how to get the color on there, how to pick their colors, things like that. And then this person is starting to discover that like, maybe they like a lot of color or maybe they like for it to be a little messy, a little busy, a little bit colorful. So as the longer you're in the painter's clubhouse and the more technique videos and tutorial videos and things you watch, um, you're going to start to discover what your style is. And so I've kind of learned my style is judging, judging things up with like color and paint pens and doing these little squiggles. And that what, that's what makes me happy. It makes me feel like I'm having fun while I'm doing it. And so all those little things help develop your style. Now, tomorrow night, we're going to paint another one. Okay. But we're going to do it completely different. And we're going to do it as if we're in stage three. Now, somebody in stage three would likely start to change things up quite a bit so that um, it feels more like their own individual design um, instead of being completely copied from like the original like mock-up that we show in our shop. This size uh, LaRonda is a 12 inch. What kind of paint pens? I use the Posca paint pens that you can find on Amazon or at Michael's. Um, let's see. Let me see if I missed any questions over here. Thank you guys for saying how pretty it is. Um, you love all the colors I'm using. I love lots of color. As you can see by my, by my backdrop, I love lots of color. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Painters Clubhouse website so I can give you guys a quick little tour because some of you guys were asking what, what all is in, in there. And since we teach two door hanger tutorials every single month in the membership, there is lots of stuff in there. Um, okay, let me get you in here. Hang on, I got to log in first. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to share my screen. You ready? Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Helen said, I'm too young to know what toll painting is. That's so funny. Oh, thank you for saying that. Cindy said, painting has helped me maintain my sanity during COVID. I'm still working from home and I'm not usually a homebody, but painting has been great therapy and helped me pass the time, not to mention help me make some great money. Yes, yes, yes. I agree with that. Debbie says, everything you paint is amazing. Thank you. Candy, I do put a clear coat on them. I use DecoArt Dura Clear Gloss Varnish. I just brush this on. But be careful if you're brushing it on over the Posca pen marks, do not do, I'm going to use dry brush to demonstrate this. Do not do a back and forth motion to apply this. When you apply it, dip your brush in the clear coat and do all one direction, simple strokes across your design. Okay. Because if you start to do back and forth, it's going to reactivate the, the paint in those paint pens and it's going to smear it. Okay. So just one stroke coverage until you get one good coat and that's dry, then you can do a back and forth motion on like a second coat or something. Okay. Um, Michelle said, I'm trying to get out of not trying to be perfect with my outlines. I love how it turns out when you're not perfect. You know, when you're trying to be perfect, it's so obvious um, because it feels uh, too perfect. It doesn't feel hand painted. Okay. Let's uh, before we go over to the painters clubhouse website, let me show you real quick. Um, what the bonuses were that you get if you sign up by tonight. So um, tonight at midnight, one of these bonuses will go away. So we're starting with this one. It's how to turn your door hanger into yard art by Mary Amick. And so that will help you guys kind of branch out the designs that we teach. You'll be able to use them in more than just one way. Uh, we also have a bonus uh, for how to tips from top creatives for painting faster. So if you're a, a bit of a slow painter and um, you need to speed up or you just want some tips so that you're not sitting there for hours painting one door hanger, there are some awesome tips in this video. The next one is how to sell your door hanger even if you don't have a business yet. 
So if you're worried about um, the cost of Painters Clubhouse and being able to afford it, being able to sell just one door hanger every single month is going to make a huge difference in your ability to afford learning this new hobby. Um, just like somebody said earlier here in the comments, they said they've been selling at least one door hanger every single month since they began. And she said it's made it to where it's like a free membership. Um, will you go back through and answer missed questions later? Uh, yes, I can do that as, uh, right after this. Let me go ahead and share my screen and show you guys um, inside the Painters Clubhouse. Let me, I got a, I've got two streams, streams up here. I'm going to share to both. So hang on just a second. All right, here we are. You guys can see it. Awesome. Oh, let me remove. Oh, I can't remove that one because if I remove that one, I can remove this one. That doesn't really make a difference, does it? Okay, never mind. Here we go. Okay, so once you log in, it'll say hello and your name. And then over here on the side is kind of like quick reference tabs to all the things, right? But this is kind of like your dashboard. So it says, what is new? What's happening this month? So if you click on that, it's going to open up this page. And so it's got what happened in January. You can click on January and it'll break it down month by month for you. So this is what we painted in January. We did a Hope door hanger and a Lucky Horseshoe door hanger. And then we also had a special guest come in and show us some really cool art journaling techniques, which actually has nothing to do with door hangers. But sometimes looking at things like that can provide some outside inspiration. OK, let's click this button right here and go back to the dashboard. OK, we can also browse by category. So if you click on category. There's important announcements right there. There's a survey um, that takes you back to what's happening this month resources we have um, things for beginners let's click on that so we have our beginners back to the basics series that's a series i did a while back where we talked about all kinds of basic information that beginner painters would need to know a video of where i'm going brush shopping inside of michael's a video showing choosing the right brush um, how to clean your brushes how to create a template um, a fluffy bow technique, jigsaw tutorial, how to paint a smooth background, a scroll saw tutorial, a detailed jigsaw tutorial, and of course our door hanger 101 ebook. Um, let's go back now. Scrolling down further, we can click on technique videos. This doesn't even include our door hanger tutorials. This is just extra stuff. So we have stuff like how to create a faux um, mug topper with spackle because those can look really cute as home decor and you can also use this spackle technique on your door hangers. How to cut a circle with a jigsaw, an advanced jigsaw tutorial for intricate cuts. We have some canvas painting tips from Christy Hawkins. We have tips on doing uh, taking photographs like your photography of your door hangers and creating color palettes. How to use a template on canvas. Some tips on procreate. Um, there's one on how to create a patina on a door hanger. We have glitter, uh, a glitter video from Yard Art by Mary Amick, a palette knife tutorial. So these are all different uh, techniques and tutorials of things you can do that will um, make your door hangers look different from everybody else's. So here's one on how to paint tie dye. So cool. How to use snow techs. Um, shading tips, one stroke flower technique, how to cut multiples out with a jigsaw, napkin art technique, resin. So as you can see, there's just so many. There's one on camouflage, solo wood flowers, how to paint leopard print, another shading video, the crackle technique, how to paint paisleys. <laughs> just it goes on and on and on. So let's go back. There's one on even how to make a doormat that matches your door hanger. So going back to the dashboard, we were in categories. Let me see if I've missed any questions or comments real quick. Okay, I don't think I have. All right. So let's see, we were down here. So there's videos on bow making. I won't go over every single one, but I'll click on it just so you can see. I think there's six different bow making videos in there. Um, and then if we go down here, there's tutorials for year round door hangers. So that means this, these kind, all of these door hangers in this section are ones that can be hung up um, any time of year. 
So there's a birthday cake one, a video tutorial, the rose teacup, interchangeable gnome, bless this home with attachments, chocolate covered strawberry, uh, chocolate milk, or sorry, chocolate, a cotton milk jug, um, a cactus, a 3D porch sitter, a baby door hanger, another gnome, um, a classic frame with attachments, the truck with attachments, that one was so popular last year, a KitchenAid mixer, a bird nest. So there's just tons on here of year round door hangers. And every single one of these comes with a template that you can download to paint along with it. There's also categories for Valentine's, spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, all of our Zoom paint parties are pre-recorded. Those are all saved there. So if you miss one, you can still go back and watch and see what people talked about. There's a section for Procreate tips. We also have some bonuses in here. Um, and this is the coolest thing right here. Do you see this? It says Searchy. Let me just show you. I've been working on Searchy today and um, fixing some things in Searchy. And so I'm going to click on the Searchy button. This is just a link. And what it does is it takes you and you can search any term. So somebody give me something you might want to search for in here. What would be something you might want to search for in the Painters Clubhouse? This is going to search everything in the Painters Clubhouse and everything I've ever done on my Facebook page here on Southern Adornments Decor. So if I taught a tutorial on how to paint buffalo plaid, we'll be able to find it. If I taught a tutorial on how to paint a leprechaun, we'll be able to find it. Okay, somebody said Jeep. Let's see if there's anything for Jeep. I don't know because goodness knows I've been painting on Facebook Live for four years now. So you would never really know. Okay, there, let's see. There's a beetle bug door hanger tutorial. There's, um, and so anytime I have said the word Jeep, in a Facebook Live, it's going to pop up here. So we don't have a Jeep when it appears, but we do have a beetle bug. So look, once I click on that, it takes you to the tutorial where I painted a beetle bug door hanger. Give me another search term. Let's do another one. Let me go back. What's another one? Roses. Okay, let's search roses. Okay, Erica Wallace here. She's one of our guests talking about painting roses. And it, look here, it didn't start you at the beginning. It started you 14 minutes in because that's the moment when she said roses in the tutorial. So you wouldn't even have to watch the whole tutorial to find the part you're looking for. And that's one of our tutorials from inside the clubhouse. Give me another search term. Patina, somebody said, okay. Patina. Okay, Summer Hammonds taught us about the patina finish. So look here. It takes you to a couple minutes in the video where she had already said patina. You can scroll down here and look, it's also telling you all the other times she said patina. So let's skip to 17 minutes in, click that. Look, she's 17 minutes in here and she's showing, and you can fast forward, you can back up, you can start it over. So she's teaching about how to do the patina on a door hanger. Okay, let's do another one. Um, Pamela said bunny, let's try bunny. Very good, I like that one because you know there's probably a bunny tutorial somewhere. Whoops, I gotta spell it right though. Okay, let's see. I know that's not it. Let's see, there was bunnies in the Easter garland. We did that one on Facebook Live. What else? We also have an Easter wagon. Let's click on that one. <laughs> that's a lovely picture of me. Uh, let's see. Let's click play. What's this one? Oh, there we go. I'm painting an Easter bunny in the back of a wagon. So look how quickly this resource inside the Painters Clubhouse takes you exactly to the, the video that you need. Okay, Kristen B said search for ceramic truck. That's a good one. Let me go back. So if you're a Painters Clubhouse member and you haven't been using this research source, you should be. We're going to search for a ceramic truck and see what pops up. Um, I know we've painted a ceramic truck. Ceramic Christmas tree. There's one of them, but that was on. Okay, here we go. Ceramic truck. And there I am painting a ceramic Christmas truck. Or no, that one, that one may, may not have been Christmas. I think we put pumpkins in the back of that one. But looky there. We're painting the truck. 
So quick and easy. We'll do one more. Um, Sheila said Christmas tree. That's a good one to search. I know we've done lots of Christmas trees. Okay, this is our last one we're searching. Let's see. Um, so you can kind of read and see like what it is. And, and so if, if you're searching for a specific tutorial, you know I did at some point. Oh, goodness. I must say Christmas tree a lot. <laughs> this will help you find the video you're looking for. Because like I said, it's not only searching videos we've done in the Painters Clubhouse. It's also searching um, all of the videos I've ever done on my Southern Adornments Facebook page. And so it makes it a huge resource for you guys when you're looking for a specific door hanger. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. That's just the searchy, searchy tool inside the Painters Clubhouse. Um, we also have like an, a place to email support. There's your discount code for the shop. I'm not going to click on that because then everybody would see it. Um, there's the link to the Facebook group. Um, template Club. If you don't know what Template Club, that is where you can get all of our templates every single month for one low cost. And Painters Clubhouse members actually get $10 off of the Template Club. And then once you're ready to start a business, you can upgrade to Paint to Profit. And that adds that onto your Painters Clubhouse. We also have the success path. And so the success path is what you would, once you um, join, you would go and look at the success path. You would take uh, sort of a, a survey or whatever and figure out where you are on your journey. So tonight we painted this one as if we were in stage two. Hang on, my son's walking in here. What do you need, dear? Can I have a plain donut? Yes. <laughs> He's hungry. Um, and so we have, let's see, there's links to the challenge video that we just did. Um, all of our resources. There's links to my Amazon store, my favorite deco art paint colors. Um, there's videos for beginners, technique videos, like it all breaks it down in here for you. So as soon as you join Painters Clubhouse, you're going to have instant access to all of these. Instant access. Like you're not going to have to wait. You're not going to have to um, like earn this over any period of time. As soon as you join, you get instant access to all of it. Vicki says, amazing website. The virtual tour is great. Okay, awesome. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Um, Kristen said, I always had a bit of trouble finding that one. It takes a little bit. It's so, uh, it's pretty easy once you get used to how to use Searchy. Um, so use that resource if you're, if you're a Painters Clubhouse member. So Michelle says, approximately what is the cost for the monthly one? So if you're paying monthly, it's $47. If you're paying yearly, it's $470 for the entire year, and that gets you two months for free. So one door hanger a month. If you can sell just one door hanger a month, it's going to make this super affordable. If you can have just one paint party and invite friends and family over and charge everybody to paint, you'll earn enough money to pay for the entire year. Oh, thank you, Diana. She said, I believe the Jeep one is called Off-Road. That might have been why I couldn't find it. But I figured I would have said Jeep in the video, so who knows? Um, so no, it does not come with blanks in the clubhouse, but you can purchase the blanks at 20% off using your special Painters Clubhouse discount code. Um, you can use that as many times as you want. We don't have a, oh, if you're talking about a, a, a club, there's not a club for the blanks. There's a club for the templates. Um, and so that's something completely different from Painters Clubhouse, but you can get a discount on that if you're a clubhouse member. Where is Searchy found again? Laurel, go to the dashboard. Go to categories and scroll all the way down. Okay, Phyllis said, thanks for the tour. I think it helped me understand a few things. Awesome. Jerry said, I was in Painters Clubhouse for a long time before COVID. I had paint parties that paid for the Painters Clubhouse and supplies. And I had to get out. It was way too much going on in my life. But I have all the knowledge to continue the projects just for myself and gifts. If I ever get back to having time and can do parties again, I will rejoin. I love the community. We have lots of people who, for whatever reason, have to leave at some point or another. Um, and then they all, <laughs> many times, they I don't say always, but many times they end up coming back. Um, they love it so much. Um, Pamela said, I go to the site every night. It's very informative. Okay. So I think I've caught up on, oh, somebody asked me if I was going to go through all of the comments. I will actually probably sit down and go through them one by one on my phone after this is over, just because I don't want to make everybody wait while I scroll. Um, 
but hopefully I haven't missed any of your questions. If I have, I will try to address them in the comments, but I'm going to be back again tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Central. If I missed your question right now, go ahead and type it in. I'll try to get to it before I leave. But I'm going to be like, I'm going to be back here every night at 830 Central here on my Facebook page and on YouTube. So come and join me. We're going to be painting another one of these little daisy pot door hangers. And we're going to do it a little different tomorrow night. We're going to take it up another notch. So if you want to win one of these painted ones, be sure and sprinkle the love and leave, um, leave a comment that you've done so. That way you'll be entered for the drawing and we'll announce the winners for those first two tomorrow night. Okay. Um, Midge says, how much does everyone sell their door hangers for? It's all new to me. So it really just depends. We have people who sell them from $25 all the way up to $55. So, you know, it just depends. Like if yours looks like this, you might only want to sell it for $25. But if yours looks like this, you might want to sell it for more like $35. And if it's even like more um, like we're going to do it like Friday night, you might want to sell, sell it for as much as 45 or 55. Who knows? So it just really depends on the person. What type of wood do you use? Uh, Denise, I use Revolution plywood or MDF, and it's always the, the quarter inch stuff. So if you buy the blanks from us, they'll be um, MDF. I just got a splinter in my hand. Um, but if you, um, you want to cut your own, you'd probably use Revolution plywood from Lowe's. Do you think this is beneficial for a struggling brick and mortar store? Oh my goodness, yes. You could be having... Uh, paint parties in your store if you have a space for that or you could even be selling the painted versions or you could sell them blank um, as an art kit you could you know especially if you've got a laser cutter or someone local who could laser cut these for you um, you could give the laser cutter guy the file and tell him I need so many of these I need them laser etched and all that and you could sell them as art kits or blanks and um, you could also sell them painted Yes, there are some guys in the Painters Clubhouse. Just a few, not many. What is the name of this one? It's called the Daisy Pot. Denise, the best place to purchase these is at shopdoorhangers.com. We don't sell them painted there, though. If you want to buy one painted, um, I would recommend maybe going to our Door Hanger Painting Tips Facebook group and looking there to see if anybody, is, um, if any, if you see one that you like and then ask where you can go and purchase. Um, let's see. Awesome. That sounds like, that sounds great, Michelle. So yes, it would be perfect for your brick and mortar store. Um, Ruth, I'm so sorry that this, that the feed was a little blurry. Hopefully that doesn't happen every night. Okay. I think I got all the comments, all the questions. <laughs> So Denise says you're very patient. I have three children, Denise, and a husband who sometimes uh, gets on my nerves too. So I have developed and honed that patience through lots and lots of prayers. So God has gifted me with that patience over the years. All right. I will see you guys again next time. I will be back tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Central. If you don't want to miss the next live, be sure and text me at the number. If you have any further questions about Painters Clubhouse too, text me here and I will text you back, um, you know, and we can just text back and forth about it if you have questions. So send me your questions and you can also be notified next time I go live. All right. I'm losing my voice. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Y'all have a good night.